Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy, Tom, and today we're going to be doing some V2 code. It's going to be my intro to GUIs. Obviously, I will be expanding on this. This is just a very basic intro, and we'll be getting a lot fancier later on, so look forward to those. I've been gone for about two weeks, just been busy with some stuff in life, and uh, just taking a break. Why not? I deserve one, I think. Uh, but yeah. Let's uh, jump into that code, shall we? All uh, right, here's the right one. So the first thing I, I put a note up here just to make sure I remember to tell you, GUIs are objects. You know, that's very different from version 1. And as you see, I mean, this is definitely more complex looking. Um, but it, once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Uh, as far as the changes from V1 to V2 with everything in general, GUIs was definitely... Um, the one that took an extra minute or two to kind of learn, just because it is very different in a lot of ways, as you can see here. So, the first thing we're going to do is we want to name our GUI, you know, create the object that we're creating, let it know that we're about to do a GUI, that kind of thing. You know, this is very different. Um, so, up here, you know, we can put um, who are, or how are you? Who are you? You know, we can, that's going to be the title, like up in that title bar. Uh, that's very different where it used to be down here where the show was. So now that's the first line versus the last line. Uh, that's, you know, a big difference there. Uh, so we're just going to be doing a simple one. This is from the documentation, changed up just a bit. Um, so we got, you know, we're going to start with, you know, my GUI, whatever you're creating, uh, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have to be my GUI. It can be, you know, Tom's GUI or Sari's GUI. I don't, I don't know what that word was I just said. Um, so, but just make sure that they're all the same. Um, this is great because in version one, we would name them like, you know, GUI 1, GUI 2, GUI 3. You know, here is where we're putting our name. Just make sure they're the same. And then if you did another GUI, it could be, you know, like, uh, drawing blanks here, Lego GUI, why not? And then add, so, you know, whatever you're naming it. That way you can create different ones, give them names, it's, it's pretty nice, but this is what's going to be displayed to the user here as far as the name goes. Uh, so yeah, the big difference here is after we define that we're doing a GUI, we're doing dots, and then add, you know, that's different from all the commas that we used to use. We also have brackets a lot in here. Um, so a lot of different, a lot of different more of just like adding punctuation uh, has changed a lot. Um, so add is going to be pretty much the default all the way through here of what we're adding to our GUI. So the first thing we want to do is we just want to add some simple text. Make sure that everything after the add is going to be into your quotations here. Um, so then we're going to do two text fields here. We're doing two commas. I'll just explain that in a little bit. That's basically where your options and stuff are going to be going. And then we're going to be doing, which for this you wouldn't really be doing much probably. And then in quotations, once again, what is that text going to say? So we're just saying first name with some uh, things here. Uh, we're doing the same thing here, we're, but we're just saying last name instead. Um, so pretty straightforward there. Like I said, you know, this is all pretty straightforward. It's just remembering the syntax and kind of getting rid of that syntax from version 1 because it's so different. Now we're going to need to do two edit boxes here. Here's where I'm getting a little fancy, at least on this one, um, just to show you some different things you can do. Doing all the same thing. Instead of a text field, we're doing an edit box. You know, everything's the same. We're doing a quotation here, and in parentheses, we're going to put all our kind of like options. What do we want here? So we're going to do a width here of 150. Um, we could do one down here. We'll do um, width uh, 50. Oh, no space there. And then what's our variable going to be called? That's just like in version 1 where it's just a V and then whatever you want it to be. Uh, first name. You know, create your variable, whatever you want. YM, that's going to create a new column. I'll show you what that looks like here in a little bit. We'll, we'll show how I have it now, and then I'll come back, delete this YM, and show you why that's important. Once again, close it in quotations and parentheses. We're done there. 
doing the same thing down here. We don't have that YM because we don't really need it because there's nothing more. And then we just want our, you know, button here that we're done. So everything's pretty much the same, but we're doing button. We're just keeping it as the default button. So whatever your system has, uh, it's going to say OK. Now, we need that button to actually do something. If we just did this right here, sure, there'll be a button there. It'll say what we want, but we click it. It'll do the little clicking animation, but it's not going to do anything. So we're going to add an event on event. So we're going to do dot on event and then let's scroll over a little bit and once again in parentheses then we're going to say what's the event that we're watching for a click so when we click it where's it going to go so this is our function right here process user input so you know where's it going to go on close what's going to happen when we click uh, so this one, because that's actually built into all GUIs right off the bat, Windows, you know, that little X button in the top right, we don't really need to add this whole first section. So we're just doing dot on event, close, that's the event that's happening. Where is that going to go? We're just going to go to the same place. If we want it, we could have it go and say like, you know, exit app or something, or just hide GUI or whatever you want but we're just going to go to the same place you know nothing too fancy in this video and of course we need to now display our GUI so we're going to do my GUI dot show parentheses there unless we're passing anything um, but that's later video so yeah pretty simple um, just to show you what's happening after that it's going to jump down here to our function you know everything in B2 is a function now that's uh not that hard to grasp you're basically for the most part i mean this is a very simple way of putting it it's putting everything in parentheses now we're uh, curly bracket sorry you know so we're passing all this information down here um so we're going to create our variable or sorry our um object here um we're creating an object that's just doing my gui dot cement parentheses pretty straightforward putting all the information into this and then we're just doing a message box. I think I've talked about message boxes uh, in some other videos, but I can always do another video specifically on version two message boxes versus version one. If you want that, you know, definitely hit the like button. It helps me subscribe. Always throwing one, sometimes two videos out every week. Just noticed I, I have my green screen up, so I look a little better, but I'm still a little transparent, which, hey, you know what? I don't care. That's fine. You can see what's behind my head if you want on my desktop <laughs> so we're just doing um you know the brackets here in parentheses what do we want to display in our message box so you entered well now we need to close it because we need to call upon a variable so we're doing saved like up here dot and what was that variable it was up here the first name close that close it once again because we're calling another variable and we're doing last name and, uh, you know, down here we're just putting a period. Um, so, yeah. I'll explain the message boxes more in depth. That's not really part of this video, but just a crash course on that. So, let's see this in action right now. I'm going to launch it. Pops up. By the way, in the show right here is where you can put your parameters. If you want it, instead of opening in the center the screen, it can open up here, down here, there, 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 or be a different size. Now, as we see, our uh, widths are very different here. You know, we got uh, this one and this one very different. The width doesn't seem right, though, on that one, but whatever. But yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, so we're going to type in uh, tab, last name, nation. You can call me Mr. Nation, Mr. Worldwide. Okay, and there it is. You entered tab nation. There's an extra space there because I accidentally put a space when I hit uh, was typing out the word tab out of just habit. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. As you see, we got our little period there. It added that little mark there that we have here. We don't really need that, but I don't know. Just threw it in there for the crap of it. Uh, yeah. Now, um, like I was saying, this YM, let's get rid of that. Let's see what's going to happen. It's going to look a little funky. So right now, now it's just going sitting here saying, 
do this, do this, do this, do this. So it's just displaying stuff in order. So we don't really want that. We, you know, definitely, obviously I didn't put any data in there. So we want that YM there so that it looks much cleaner for us. And as you can see right here, it says, who are you? Obviously my GUI's not big enough uh, to display that. Oh, there it goes. Now it's working on the correct. That was really bizarre. I wonder why I did that. Very strange. Now it's at the 150 versus 50 width. That was very weird. And I also noticed it wasn't displaying the name correctly. So I'm not sure why it didn't load properly on the first time. Something I'll have to look in. Maybe that's a bug. That was very bizarre. If you figure it out, let me know. So yeah, uh, in the comments below, let me know what kind of videos you are interested in when it comes to GUIs in version 2 version version 1. You know, do you want to see how to do just, you know, general GUI stuff? Do you have something very specific you're curious about that I could dive into? You know, like design or anything like that? I don't know. One thing I do want to mention real quick is the Auto Hockey uh, version 2 converter. This thing is pretty awesome. I mean, it's like 99% accurate. That's just a number I'm making up. Don't hold me to that. Uh, the only time I've honestly came into issues here is when it comes to the GUIs. Just having a little bit of troubles, but nothing too hard to figure out what it did by accident. Uh, I mean, it gets it right pretty much of the time, but if you're getting too fancy, GUIs is where I have ran into some issues with that. But they've been pretty simple issues to figure out what was going on and fix. All right, everybody. Hope you uh, enjoyed this very brief intro, and I'll see you all hopefully on the next one. Bye!